The leaves are starting to change a little bit on the trees. Fall is coming. Well, it's technically here, but peak fall color is coming. The first glimpses of blue sky since before the hurricane. It's supposed to really clear up later today. Thankfully, it's not cold. It's actually really nice hiking temperature right now. All right, Ryan and Licorice. I've officially taken my first face plant. I uh, was coming that way, got one foot on that log or branch and could not pick up my feet in time and face planted here. And that was with a full resupply that just landed on my back on the ground and kind of knocked the wind out of me, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I have tripped and face planted. I was wondering if I was gonna make it my th whole through hike without it, but it got me. So today has been very much a green tunnel day. Doing 18 miles with uh, no views. And besides me tripping and falling on my face, Here's the highlight of the day, 1,600 miles, woo! Man, Virginia is flying by. We used to camp for the night, kind of letting my stuff dry out, and then I'll let my rain fly dry out because I had so much condensation build up last night. And I was sleeping in a grassy field, which is always very wet from all the dew. But, made it here. It's kind of loud from the road. But there's a parking area right up there. And there's trail magic. Some drinks. Electrolytes. Which I very much need. Because this whole stretch was kind of low on water. But, I'm right next to water right now. Which is also a little bit in there. Because it's right near a road. An interstate. But, the magic of filtering. Starting a fire with wet wood is not easy. But, it's worth it. I'm toasty. Now make dinner, ooh, which is boiling. And then I actually need to finish setting up camp, but I'll do that after dinner. And enjoying this. Starting the day off with some road walking. Where in the world are the through hikers from? All the pins. All over the US. A lot from Atlanta. Yeah. Just go. Just go. That's where it's all there. Everybody go with And then. Everybody line up and take off. The world map, too. Say hey, y'all. Say hey, Andrew. All over. Awesome. So, stop by the Brushy Mountain Outpost this morning at I think it's Route 52 and this is fun because last year I was through this area by chance with my family. We were visiting uh, New River Gorge in West Virginia and driving back stopped by here because I was like oh the Appalachian Trail goes here and I got a picture with this sign last year so fun. Also I got ice cream from this place I was hoping to do that yesterday but they were not open when I was gonna come by this af yesterday afternoon, which is why I stopped where I did, so I could hit it this morning. So, very cool. It's also much colder this time around. It's in the 30s this morning. Happy to have my gloves right now. It's very cold. This is really pretty, and the sun feels so good. Uh, absorbing it. Well, that was an experience. Privy with no door. Just got to enjoy the view of the trees. Wow. It's like digging a cat hole, but not having to dig the cat hole. I 
ended up to Chestnut Knob Shelter. Just in time for sunset and to see the glow over here. The area down there is called Burke's Garden. It looks like a giant crater. And it said it was caused by a limestone sinkhole. So, very interesting. It looks really cool. Dang. Ooh. It is windy and really cold. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> poking my head out here occasionally. The wind was howling in here last night. Must put a sunrise. Man, my sleeping bag too. This nice picnic table. Really, really dreading changing my full setting. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> Grace. Grace. Wow. Starting the day off with views. Sun feels so good. Really happy I pushed onto that shelter last night because I happened to see two people that I met up in Vermont who are doing a flip flop or wrap around. So instead of Harpers Ferry South, they're going Springer North and finishing Harpers Ferry. And I walked into the shelter and they were like, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, we're all just freaking out like, wait, I know you. So it was really cool. Did not think I'd ever see them again. So, wonderful little surprises. So the bridge is washed out over Lick Creek, which means we are fording the creek. Oh, oh. oh boy, that is really cold. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, it's probably good for my feet though. The fun part about walking through a pasture is dodging all the cow poop. Huge piles of it everywhere. Right in the middle of the trail. Oh, an exciting milestone for this morning. Three quarters of the way. Wow. Crazy! It's, it's like 580 miles left. It seems like a lot and not a lot at the same time. And I don't know how to express it. But I've come a long way, that's for sure. Terrifying morning. I just hiked back like a mile and a half maybe. No, like a mile from the alpaca farm. I got there and realized I didn't have my phone. And it was right here in the middle of the trail. I remember I checked it, the map, so I was a half mile away from like the place I needed to turn to get to the alpaca farm. So I was like, okay, I know it's around there. And I actually remembered feeling my fanny pack like kind of bump or something. And I was like, oh weird, I don't know what that was. I think it's because I put my phone, instead of in my fanny pack, I put it between me and my fanny pack and it fell. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. So I just left my pack up at the alpaca farm and ran down here. An extra two miles for the day. Woo! Woo! I'm glad I found it though. Hello alpaca friends. I'm sorry I didn't pay you much attention earlier. I was a little preoccupied and stressing about getting my phone back. Well, that's cool. Sitting here and uploading 
videos because I'm out of storage on my phone. So I'm gonna sit here and do this and then hopefully do another 11 miles today. We're petting alpacas. They're so soft. Incredible. What's up, bud? Was it? Moon Hi, Moon Pie. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye to the socks that made it three quarters of the trail. <sighs> he did good. Darn tough is great. Shipped me new ones here to the alpaca farm. Now I've got my new soft and squishy ones. They're actually so cushiony. I forgot how much cushioning they had, but all good. Time to hike again. So this is a schoolhouse from 1894 that is still here and it is really cool. They set up so hikers can stand here too, but they have all the desks and everything still. Log book, which I'll sign momentarily, and trail magic. Water and little like goodie bags of snacks. This is so nice and really cool. Dang, I love that this is still here. Got a beautiful rhododendron forest this morning. Oh, the fall colors are starting. I love it. Oh, a nice view up here. Small clearing, but pretty. And back into the tunnel. All these little stumps are here. Cause there's a little view of Rye Valley. Nice little spot to take a quick rest. This is definitely the closest that I've been to the cows while walking through a pasture. Hi there. I hope dinner is yummy. making exceptions to sleep in the shelter because there's a fire in the shelter. In a good way. Yes. Oh, a good fire. Not like it's, it's burning down. It's, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> this fire is just lit. It's controlled. <laughs> it's so warm. Fall colors and Comer Creek or Comer Falls. And then Comer Creek. But we're crossing. Walk through the scales, horse corral, and then also the cattle. And look at the horns on that thing. Approaching the Grayson Highlands. We're going to see the wild ponies. I'm so excited. Oh, some of the much anticipated wild ponies. Oh my. So fuzzy. <laughs> oh, so lovely. Oh, I can't express how happy I am right now. Oh. A video and picture will never do this justice, but that looks so pretty. Look at the color gradient. Look at that tree. That's the tree that I took.
Good morning, it's 27 degrees. Good morning. We're freezing. Woo! Looking over the Grayson Highlands, headed up towards Mount Rogers. It is beautiful. Little pops of color too, golds and reds. Yeah, it is cold this morning. Also 29, not 27. I think I said 27 earlier. But I'm hiking in all my layers and my rain pants. So this is fun. But I'm about to start getting warm at second. I'll start shedding layers. Also yesterday was my biggest mileage a day. 23.2 miles. But it was fun. I ended up pushing just a couple more miles to get to the campsite where Rudolph and Hippie Gandalf were. Some of Rudolph's friends were there and campfire and everything, so it was fun. Yeah, had a good time. I just really love this area. It's so pretty. And just like, what a contrast to what we've been hiking in. Mount Rogers Summit. Ooh. Hello. Hmm? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, I thought it was, I was like, what? <laughs> what a stunning day and a stunning view. This Mount Rogers whole area is really pretty. So yeah, we just did the summit of Mount Rogers, which was obviously all wooded. A little half mile side trail, but it is the highest peak in Virginia. So we got to check that one off with a fun little crew. Okay, well, if there was something marked on the trail, I totally missed it, but it just crossed, 0.2 miles ago, just crossed the 500 miles left mark. Only 500 miles left of trail. That is insane. I remember crossing 500 miles going north. Well, actually not true because I forgot about it at that point too. And I remembered it 502 miles and put the little sticks on the bridge. But wow, that seems like forever ago. Got trail magic. Mm. Off, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, look at it. Look, he's on the can. He's on the look at wow. him. Yeah, he's on the. Do you see him? I'm already the drunk. resemblance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing is tasty. I'm not even. <laughs> <laughs> Mountains. <laughs> 